Right, so this time we're outside doing some ball things and we're undercover because although we don't mind getting wet, our camera doesn't enjoy it as much as we do. So we're just limited by the weather a little bit, just a little bit. Um, so playing with balls. Yeah, endless amounts of things you can do with the ball and lots of hand-eye coordination stuff that you can develop with ball, catching, throwing backwards and forwards. Hey, catch. <laughs> in different ways okay so you can you can specify that you catch it this way and doing different rhythms yep. go one one time this way then in the middle and then up and bottom middle up okay so we're now working on patterns we can go bottom up <laughs> <laughs> And also, too, um, you can, you know, smaller balls for older kids, etc. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So throwing and catching is a great way, but for younger kids, it's not always um, appropriate because they can't do it. So here's something you can do with younger kids. You can roll the ball to them. You can get them to, to jump over it. And if they're too small, then just use a little handball okay, or a tennis ball. So they're developing the ability to judge where objects are in space and where their body is relative to the object and how they need to move their body to interact with the object in, in an appropriate way, which is actually great for social skills, believe it or not. And who played handball at school? How oh. much fun did you have playing handball at school? Now, we can play handball, which we will, but uh, you can also just, if your kids aren't quite old enough for handball, just bouncing the ball back and forth. And if that's too easy, move further back. Now, another one which we used to play when I was a kid is this one. Okay, so you're bouncing it against the wall, jumping over it, and the person behind you has to catch it and then as soon as you've jumped you've got to run to the back of the line now if you miss if the ball bounces twice then you're out so if you've got a family of more than two then you can actually make this into into a game and a challenge like that what's another so, thing the handball uh, the, you don't have a basketball hoop and you've got a bucket and you've got a ball And even if you don't have a ball, oh, smaller balls we talked about. Okay, let's have a little a go at handball and then we'll talk about these other things. Now here it's great to um, make a rule that you hit it with opposite hands each time. So if you want a bit more of a challenge, you want right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. Okay, or you can make a pattern again, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. Okay, so building um, different challenges into each activity rather than just throwing a ball back and forth, which can sometimes get a bit boring, always extend your kids' abilities. Use your imaginations. There's so, they're like balls are limitless. There's so many things you can do, even kicking backwards and forwards. Yeah. But um, with, where's that other ball? We've lost it. It's rolled away. That's okay. Now, one other thing that, um, that we thought we'd show you is this. If you don't have a whole heap of balls and you want to do a little bit of practice with uh, aiming, here we go, a bucket and just some banksia seeds. For those of you not in Australia, you might have to use something different that you find out in nature. Oops, I need to put this in camera view. And just throwing them in, aim and throw. There's also like extending, like if you're getting more than seven out of 10 in the bucket, try moving it a bit further, make it a little bit challenging, keeping people on the, edge on, the of, edge. on the edge of what's successful and what's not. Keep and, our growth going. Um, or use a smaller bucket. 
And if you don't have a bucket, draw a circle on the ground, right? So anything that, um, that you can find will work. This is something that I just found as we were walking over here from our place, is a few rocks and a little bowl, right? So you can do the same thing with that. A little bit of a smaller scale, but more of a challenge because you have to throw them in a certain way so they actually stay inside the bowl. So maybe rocks, you're going to learn that hard things on hard concrete in a hard bowl are going to bounce out. So maybe you want to use something softer like a seed, which is going to um, stay inside the bowl. And you can talk with your kids why that is have a little chat about why do you think the seeds stay in more also than rocks. getting them to think of objects that you can throw in exactly. different things. So using and engaging the kids as much as you can in making up these, these games uh, keeps them engaged and yeah. Did you know kids when they're left to their own devices, they've done research on this, will change the rules of a game every four or five minutes? Really? Yeah. yeah, because they don't want to play the same thing over yeah. and over. So do allow that. Excuse me. <clears throat> do allow them to, to to change the rules and make the game different and and to try different things and explore different ways of doing the same thing. Yeah. So one last thing I was going to show you with the big ball is is um, not just kicking it but also catching it with your foot. Okay. So this is about. Again, working out eye-hand coordination. So being able to, you know how I talked about vision and focus. Being able to have the big vision of what's going on over there and at the same time focus on the part of the ball that you want your foot to, to get onto. If that's too easy, smaller ball. <laughs> and if it's too easy, go faster. Okay, so you have to think faster. Ooh. Thank you for making it easy for me. Okay, so always adapt the level to your children's abilities. And that's what makes these great. The fact that they work for really little kids because you can uh, roll the ball slowly. You can use a small, uh, bigger ball, so it's a bigger target. And then for bigger kids, you can either bounce, throw, jump over it, bounce it against the wall, you know, bring all the different aspects to it that make it more of a challenge no matter what age you are. Yo. Anything else about balls? Have fun. Cut. See you in the next one. Oh, and juggling. <laughs> <laughs>